Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to continue talking about exercises for overweight individuals. We are going to detail the single arm shield cast. There are three main exercises that we want to focus on with heavy club swinging. Whether you're overweight or not, it doesn't matter. These are the basic movements that you do. But these movements tend to work extremely well for people who are heavier because we are focusing on standing up all the way and rotating, which helps people learn to stand up even better. This exercise is the third exercise in the series. We have done inside circles, we have done outside circles, and now we are going to do what's called a shield cast. The shield cast starts from our order position. Our arm should be at 90 degrees, and we wanna take our elbow and put it on our body. The hard part is coming back to 90 degrees every time we do the movement. We would like to go past our opposite ear, and we would like our thumb to come down to touch the back of our shirt as we pull over. We're gonna do four sets of five on each side so that you can see exactly what the first workout should be. I am gonna start demonstrating with my right hand, but that should be your left hand if you're mirroring this action. Starting from our order position, going past the opposite side of our head, we're gonna to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Change hands any way you want. My left hand, which will be your right hand if you're doing this with me. One, two, three, four, five. Top of set two. One, two, three, four, five bottom of set two. I'm counting top of set two, bottom of set two. One, two, three, four, five. Set three, I'm gonna rotate slightly. One, 90 degrees with this hand. If your hand is up, it's not gonna work well. Two, three, four, Five, bottom of set three, past the opposite ear. One, two, three, four, five. Top of set four. One, two, three, four, five. Bottom of set four. Opposite ear, one, two, three, four, and five. The point of these exercises is that you can repeat them. So we are using an 8X adjustable club. You don't have to use an adjustable club, but this would provide you the most value for your money. The handle by itself weighs 3.5 pounds, with the thread, you get five pounds. There are 1.25 pound weights, so you can go 6.25 pounds, 7.5 pounds, 8.75 pounds, and 10 pounds. We are starting with four sets of five. Every workout or two, you are going to add a set. You should do this two to three days a week. Five sets of five, six sets of five, seven sets of five, eight sets of five, nine sets of five, and ending at 10 sets of five. We are trying to get you very good at simple things. Standing up, pointing our feet straight ahead as much as possible. You will not accomplish that task immediately. It is a trained skill. Many people who are heavier have adapted. Their feet turn out and they have knee pain because this is what's happening to their knees. When we're doing these inside circles, we are going to try over time to point our feet straight ahead. I don't care if you put on shoes and put big heavy objects, bricks on the outside of your feet so that there is something that if you try to spin out, it'll push back on you. It doesn't have to be solid. It just has to be there to let your brain know that your feet are trying to turn out. When your feet turn out, your arches can collapse. When your arches collapse, your knees will hurt. Your hips will hurt. Your back will hurt. The goal of this training is to trick us into pointing our feet straight ahead and learning to do this rotation 
instead of having this knee collapse happen as we do this series of movements. At the max, eight minutes for each one. So these are short workouts. You should be sub 24 minutes at the longest workout. In the beginning, it may take longer because you don't know what you're doing. The point of repeating it over and over and over again is that you learn exactly what you're doing. The goal is to master basic athletic skills in an easy, progressive way where you don't have to go anywhere. You can do it anywhere, bedroom, living room, kitchen, backyard, basement, so that you can then build enough strength and stand up tall enough and learn to breathe better. You can apply the strength gained from these movements to other forms of training. The minimum weight that you should be going up to is probably 20 pounds for men and probably 15 pounds for women. That's what we're working up. If you start at 3.5 pounds, I want you to end at 15 pounds or 20 pounds. You can repeat this for six months to a year and get really good at standing up two to three days a week, and then you can fit in other types of athletic training around that. This is a base fundamental thing that you can do in the privacy of your own home so that you can get better and healthier. The main thing that causes people to have pain is that their joints aren't lining up. Knee pain, ankle pain, wrist pain, shoulder pain. We wanna start super light below the level where we can get hurt and build it up over time. Repeat, 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 repeat. Get really good at standing up.